Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. It is Xfinity slash truck day, but we're going to do Xfinity cars today. Uh, the first one is going to be Noah Gragson's 2022, first 2022 164th that I've gotten in so far. Uh, but this is the Bass Pro Shop Chevy. Um, off to a bang of the start. But like, he had a really good start to the year. It got a little rough recently. Obviously, very controversial last week. But we're just going to go take a look at the die cuts today. So you can see here, we got Noah Gregson, Ages 4+, Plus, 2022 season, and Xfinity Series. You can see we got, uh, there we go, Bass Pro Shops, True Timber, Black Rifle Coffee, 2022 Camaro. And then we go over to the other side, just got the uh, 164th and then the barcode and the official die cast of NASCAR. So there you can see the number 9 in this box. But let's go ahead and take an even better look. We're going to get right up on the car itself with a nice zoom in. Come on, camera. Come on. Where's my camera? Two There we go. Two times zoom. All right. There we go. So the biggest thing I noticed this year off of last year is the black skirt. So this year you can see we have a black skirt down on the bottom here. Um, I thought Dale Jr. didn't like those, but I could be wrong. Uh, but you can see a black skirt down there. We've still got the silver paint scheme. It's, it's basically what it is is it's the Napa car from 2019, like Chase Elliott's 2019 Napa car, uh, but instead of blue, you have uh, this gray camo, and instead of white, you have silver. And so then you have kind of this, uh, you know, the orange and yellow stripe. You can see, obviously, we got our number nine with that bright orange uh, number. We got, as I said, the silver where the white would be and the, the camo where the blue would be. Um, honestly, this is one of the best looking paint schemes. So, you know, the, the old saying is don't fix it if it isn't broken. And that's a perfect example of what they needed to do this paint scheme. Don't fix it because I didn't broken. It's one of the best paint schemes out there. Uh, we got Black Rifle Coffee on this side. You flip it around. There's where you have the True Timber Camo. Um, Black Rifle Coffee on the tail or on there. Oops, on the corner panel. True Timber Camo on the corner panel. So kind of interesting. You got Black Rifle, True Timber. Other side, you got True Timber, Black Rifle. So kind of neat. Uh, you got Noah Gregson up there. You can see we have the purple windshield banner. That is new for this season. Uh, Xfinity has changed their colors to purple uh, for some reason. I can't really explain why. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, but yeah, they changed the colors to, uh, purple. So we now have the, uh, the purple banner on there instead of the red one. Um, which the one thing I will say I don't like, I wish this, this banner stayed black throughout the main season and then it could turn purple in the playoffs. I think having a purple banner season long it makes the paint schemes look worse. I'm sorry. It does. Um, you need to have a basic color banner and then you can add another color in later if that's what you need to do. But, um, you know, I just, I'm not a fan of the idea of like this car and then you have a purple banner that just sticks out. So, you know, during the playoffs I can get by with it, but I don't know. I don't like the idea of having a colorful banner all year long. Cause then it's like, what are you going to do in the playoffs? Make it even more purple? Like I'm, I'm a little, I don't know. I'm, I'm not as happy about that, but, um, but yeah, overall, I mean, it's, it's the classic 164th, nothing real crazy detail wise. Um, I'm definitely a fan of this paint scheme again. Uh, obviously I like Noah. Uh, he, you know, did some silly stuff last week. I'm not going to say I wasn't, uh, you know, I'm not going to not be critical of that, but, um, but yeah, so a good paint scheme nonetheless. Um, but that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Uh, hopefully we got a good race coming later today. Uh, I'm going to say my pick for the day is going to be Noah Gregson. I think he's going to be really aggressive trying to go out and win. So, uh, but anyway, guys, that'll wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, do turn on the notification bell. I'm uh, going to live stream during the race tomorrow. We're going to try it out for the first time, so I hope you guys can stop on by. But thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.